So next, we're joined here on stage with David Copeland. So David is a sales director for the United States and Canada of TechNam. Uh, and we're going to have an opportunity to talk to him. They, they won an Editor's Choice Award the other night. Yeah, congratulations, yeah, thank David, you so to much. you and the whole team. Really appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you so much. Also won the Innovation Awards, which is sort of our most exclusive award. And we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that. So I've known David for a long time. I'm going to ask you a question. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. OK. What number of AirVenture is this for you? Well, I pulled into AirVenture uh, on Monday, and my son, who is celebrating his 21st year here, 14th year of, of uh, volunteering, said, Dad, do you know how many years you've been here? And I said, well, I have a good idea. It's number 50. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, it is. Tell me, what, do you, what are your memories of, that, of the first time, if you have them, of when you were first coming here? What, what are the I was in a wagon. Memories? I remember that. <laughs> is that right? Pulling around. It was pretty bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> the roads have gotten a lot better. Uh, no, you know, I would say I think um, the passion that my parents had for aviation, I continue that legacy and legend piece, and I think I try to share that with other people about the memories. What do you remember most? What air show performers? What was the big, you know, product that year? What was the aircraft that you remember the most? There are so many that even came up last night and at your function the other night about, you know, people that you've met, people you've known that have come and gone. And uh, I think that's what I really you know, share. I want to I share that passion with other people in learning to fly and to continue this legacy. And that's what I've done with our family and, of course, Mac, who really can't wait. He has to leave tonight to go to another function, but he's like so excited to be here this year. So I like to see that in young people and also uh, carry that what my parents brought to me so many years ago. That's great. 50 years, you've seen a lot of change. That's before it was even AirVenture, probably. There were no hangers, there were no flush toilets. I mean, you've no, seen some yeah. really wonderful change at this amazing facility. It was pretty basic back then. We had the arch was actually the entry to the to the grounds. And I remember I was working at Cessna at that time. And, and at the time, I remember tents and things like that. And the small little buildings, we thought that was the big deal. And it was, it was now Beach and Cessna together, which yeah. is great. Yeah. But at that time, you know, we wanted to be on the other side of the street, closer to the arch. I mean, that was kind of the arch rivalry of the things that go on now and how that's all changed into what it is today, which is fantastic for aviation. To come over that hill in the morning off of 41 and see that field of airplanes. I mean, who doesn't get chills about that every morning? I mean, I try to take a picture of the cars right. we're going along. But those people and people like Flying Magazine that have really made a difference for not only informing about products and things that are going on and safety and all the things that you do, but all the other media and all the other people that come to share their experience and entertain, and also the crowds that come, the 700 and some thousand that are expected this yeah, year. Incredible. It's really cool to see those people get involved in aviation as well. And I think that's my duty, and hopefully I know it is what you all do to present aviation as a safe and, and viable thing for the future for all of us. Cool. So some of the change you've seen, you and I have uh, been here a number of times with different brands on, yeah. our, on our shirts, and you're now at TechNam, uh, which is a, is a wonderful product, not a new product. They've been around for a long time. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, why you won the Editor's Choice Award in that aircraft? Well, I think it all dates back to 1948. I mean, the Pascali family and third generation. I mean, all of those things that, that the, the family has put together, whether it's quality, whether it's engineering, whether it's design, whether it's aerodynamic perfection, whether it's Italian style, I mean, that's a big piece right. of it. The engineering quality of being focused on general aviation at the very level of light sports and our certified singles and twins and our commercial brand, that's the focus of this company. It will remain that way for the, for the time being. And we've shown, and now, I have to be proud to say, in, in the first quarter of this year, according to Gamma, we were the number one delivering uh, source for all single engine pistons. So we're very proud of that. And Congrats. you know, it's, it's a competitive piece, mm -hmm. but it just shows that the focus of, of not legacy, but today's aircraft that we want to be focused on for innovation and sustainability and leaving that green footprint for the future. Okay. And if you haven't seen it, you need to go over to their booth and you can tell us about the footprint, but they have an aircraft over there that I got to fly on Saturday. It's called the Grand Lusso, okay. which, you know, it's grand luxury. It's beautiful. It's, it's everything you'd expect an aircraft of that quality to, to be. Everything the pilot sees and touches is, is premium, it's quality. Wonderful aircraft, you gotta check it out. But if you don't see it here, you're not gonna see one because this one's sold too. Oh, yeah. They're all pre-sold. <laughs> they come off the line and disappear. But tell me something, you, you told me something the other day about the production facility itself and just you know how clean it is and the, the whole work environment. And I think that all speaks to why the product is such high quality. Right. So tell us a little bit about well, that. I know you and I have visited a lot of, of manufacturers and seen a lot of things throughout all these years of aviation, which I'm very proud of. But 
the first time I walked into the facility in Capua, Italy, it was it was really set me back as as the the seriousness, the third generation of focus and quality. Uh, the, there's minimal distractions. Um, the fact that they work as teams and it's more of a family atmosphere mm -hmm. that you feel, although it's very formal. Yet you see people, you know, hand building an aircraft, which. You know, I know there's some robotics that go into some of the, the larger aircraft and even some of our sophisticated pieces that we make. That, that, that family and those family members that I call family in, in Capua, Italy, that, that build these airplanes, um, they, the craftsmanship and the quality and the focus of doing the right thing is so different. And I'm not saying that it isn't in other aviation products that are manufactured, but it's different. Mm -hmm. And we're adding a new 140,000 square foot facility to build more airplanes, nice. to keep ahead of the backlog, and to continue to offer general aviation the very best in all those categories and classes of aircraft. Very cool. Well, tell us, so the P Mentor was the aircraft that, that won the Editor's Choice Award, uh, and it's a pretty special aircraft, because you know we all have sort of the, the same problems, issues, so, you know, looking for solutions, flight training. We're, we're trying to train the next generation of pilots. Uh, you know, you want the pilot experience, uh, the flight, the student pilot experience to be the same in every aircraft. You want to start training them with good habits and, and muscle memory and low cost of operating for the operators. So well, tell us what makes the, the P-Mentor so special. Well, first of all, it's pretty special because there hasn't been a single engine, two place IFR trainer certified in part 23. That's a lot <laughs> since 73, Wow. 50 years. Okay, wow. so you found a niche, great. Find a niche, also fill it. I mean, we look at you know what the airlines and what the other parts of our community whether it's private jets or just general aviation, we need to train more people to fly. And you all do a great job of that as well as the other manufacturers. But what we try to do is build those basic airplanes. So this airplane really is revolutionary to this industry after 50 years of trying to develop and perfect an innovative, cost-efficient, green-type footprint aircraft for flight schools and individuals to fly with their families or whatever to, to, to get into aviation and also for sustainable flight in the future. So with a Garmin G3X touchscreen, and we have the Rotax engine, and we have you know, a flight platform of aerodynamics that is, I would say, perfectly balanced. Everybody that flies it, um, in fact, some of your people have flown it from flying, and I said the first three words, and they say it's super balanced, it's perfect for aviation, let's get this flying. This is what students expect, I think, when they drive up to a facility and they get out of their car. You look in the parking lots of, of a lot of the flight schools that we go to, and they're not 1973 cars. Right. These are Teslas, $80,000 Jeeps, lifted trucks, all that. So what's your expectation of innovation and things that you're bringing? What do you expect when you open the door or slide the canopy back? Is you want that same kind of safety, you expect that, and we deliver on all fronts of that. And we're super excited about that airplane and the deliveries. We're already in, I think, 19 countries. We've delivered 160 aircraft around the world. It is, is far, by far, a revolutionary aircraft that's just catching on as we get them out as fast as we can get them yeah. delivered. So yeah. it's exciting. Wonderful. You'll see it in the future as well as now at our booth. Yeah. Okay. Well, it also won the Innovation Award, and uh, that was a really tough choice for us. So it, it's, it's challenging enough to come up with six editorial award winners, right? There's so many wonderful products, so many wonderful companies. That's a, that's a tough challenge to come up with the winners. So not only did TechNam win the Editor's Choice Award, it was also the Innovation Award, right? So we reach out to a number of people and, and sort of a, a jury to say, well, what is the most innovative product? And that's even harder because there's so many innovative products. But when you it walk seems up, like they're showing off. You know, I mean, winning multiple awards. It they seems should. like a little bit of, you know, real showboat. It's what we here. do. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's just what we do. It's Italian style. <laughs> yeah, we got to show off. Uh, but there's some really interesting features in that. So, you know, like David said, you'd expect to see a glass cockpit in any modern aircraft and things like that. But people that are training in the P-Mentor are on a, you know, on a fast track to an airline career. Uh, you want to build some muscle memory and some good habits right away. And there's something really special in the P-Mentor, right? You're going to walk up to it, you're going to see it's a fixed gear aircraft. Well, what's uh, in the panel that's going to surprise people about landing gear? Well, there's an option that we have a landing gear switch in there. It's basically for practice and rogue memory for when you graduate to the 2006, which is our twin that we'd mm -hmm. like to train in. So it's those things that we go get that, that muscle memory and get those procedures and cockpit ready for those students that are going to progress into uh, you know, other licenses and certifications with the FAA. So we try to put those things in there so that they're ready for the next step in aviation and we provide that as a stable platform. So another thing, I mean, you know, being economically minded and as we all know what's going on with Avgas and Mogas daily as right. I read some of the publications is the fact that you know, we don't know how long Avgas or what the SAF or what's going to happen within this, this whole uh, production of, of, of fuels is. 
but we have mat, bow gas and avgas available for that airplane. So in Switzerland, for example, there's no more avgas, right? So we're set for that. And so in California and Florida and, and in, in, in Texas, we hear these rumblings about, well, and, and as we know, our, our government is getting involved in some of those decisions. So we're ready for that. And also that aircraft is just over four gallons per hour in flying. Wow. I mean, you can't beat that. So uh, the economic operation, yeah. footprint is part of the innovation piece of it, is having a great manufacturer and partner like Rotax, as well as Garmin, as well as our engineering team that developed an aircraft that is right for the market right now. And that's what we're, what we're delivering today. Awesome. So when you, uh, tell me about winning these awards. Uh, how did you get the news? Where were you when you heard? What was the reaction among you and your team? Tell us a little bit about Harry. Well, you know how social media is and also the emails. Um, I was, you know, it's a super honor. So first of all, thanks Flying Magazine and thanks for everybody Absolutely. that voted for us. We really appreciate that from the bottom of our hearts. It's not really awards that, you know, we appreciate those things. It's really looking out into the future of what, not looking at now and not looking in the past, but looking in the future of what, what we can get. And along the way to get an innovation award is of course, extremely exciting and we really appreciate that. But the fact this really goes to all of the staff that's in both Florida and Australia and also back in our factory, all the skilled workers that are there, yeah. our workforce, you know, they really appreciate this as well. And it really goes out to everybody. Yeah, I had actually heard, and this is true, that a past innovation winner actually slept with their trophy that night. They were so excited. That is true. We'll I have insider down. information on this. So I don't know where you all keep your trophies and awards, but you know, maybe. They're locked up tight and we okay. did pass it around a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's cool. like the Stanley Cup. Yeah, it's kind of like yeah. the Super Bowl, right? It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, and yeah, really you had a special person here to receive the award. Who was that? Yes, Giovanni Pascale, our managing director of the company, third generation. Uh, one, one thing that I think that sets us, and it's, it's super that our team came over, we have five of them that came over from Italy, not only to accept the award, but really to talk to customers and prospects and leads, and to really you know, canvas and talk to our partners that are here uh, to help us build the aircraft, and also for the future, what we're looking into. People come to us a lot about, you know, we want to be a part of your thing. So that's exciting in itself. After 76 years, you know, they were like, we've made a pretty big impact yeah. this week. Yeah. But I think the other thing is that their, their focus and his leadership and his pilot skills and his family and their passion in flying every airplane and seeing that they're right. I mean, this isn't somebody that sits in a corner office and, and, and tries to look at reports. This person's down on the floor, on the field, in the aircraft, flying the aircraft. Their whole leadership team are pilots. Wonderful. And that really makes a difference in what, what we feel, what we think it should be before it's even talked about. So that's, that's an exciting piece that I think Technum is unique in, in today's industry. Mm -hmm. We've seen it all change like through the oh, years. Yeah. But I think that piece of it keeps it real and keeps the passion to focus on general aviation. Okay, well in our last 30 seconds, because you mentioned future, I'm going to ask you, is there anything you want to, you want to leak out or, or keep the Any exclusive you want to give yeah. us here to boost our ratings? I don't think we can do that today. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I value my job a lot. <laughs> But no, I think, you know, keep watching. We always come to the shows, almost every show that we come to. Uh, we have a press re uh, conference today at 11, and we're gonna talk about some of the innovations and things that we brought to the show and in the future a little bit. But we like to bring things real. We've looked at several programs, whether it's hybrid or all electric, and we like those to be real programs. We don't like 3D things appearing on the internet. We want to show that it's real and we can bring it to marketplace or we will not offer it. So we usually bring it either certified or right on the cusp of certification and we'll continue to do those things. Yeah. Well, congratulations oh, again you. on your multiple thank awards. You. Thank you. That's a great thank honor. We got a great team and we really appreciate Flying Magazine. Yeah. That's okay. for sure. Thanks for well, joining us, David. Well, great. Well, while you're here, uh, you want to tell people where to find you on the field. You're just a yes. little bit south of here, yeah. right? Yeah, we're on Celebration Way just off uh, Can't miss Celebration it. Huge. Way. Look for the Italian and the American flag. We're at 247. Please come see us. We'd love to see you. And thanks to everybody in General Aviation for uh, supporting us and, and keep flying. All right. Well, thanks for joining us Thank today, you. David. Thank you, David. Have a great Thank show. you. It's great to be All here. Right.